I looked on uh, the computer this morning. I was looking up vintage gliders. I actually found one like mine. It, there was no cushions with it. There's a picture of an old white one. Someone had overpainted it with white and all the paint had chipped off. I found another one, similar condition. It's basically just the metal, no cushions or anything. Uh, I think I might have the best looking one of these particular types of gliders in the world. <laughs> At least that I've been able to find so far. And I'm delighted to have it. It's a very, very comfortable seat. I was surprised they still make those gliders with the hard metal bottom and back. Uh, I looked online, I actually was doing a search for gliders and I found they were listed as Crosley gliders. Crosley, like the car. And they're the kind that you used to see that they have a little square pattern on, three little square patterns and a little pattern inside that. People would paint the square patterns different colors. Uh, these were all white and they were brand new and you could buy one for about 350 bucks or so, which was surprising. I had no idea people, uh, these things were still made or in, you know, any kind of gliders like that. That's pretty cool. You know, you could get yourself a, a 50s style looking glider today, brand new still, online for you know, about 350 bucks, probably plus shipping and all, but still, that's pretty cool. Nice to know it's still possible to get one. So, it was hard to get into these little areas underneath, underneath here. That's why I wound up using this thing. This brush, this wire brush with the kind of different bottom kind of went up in there a little ways. That was good. So I'm going to call that good for now and uh, take this one and hang it up over there and paint it with the rush spray. I was thinking maybe I ought to rig up a better hanging spot because having it hang over there, I'm afraid I'll get some overspray on the part I've already painted on that couch. So maybe I can do that. Oh yeah, I'm going to wipe that down with uh, paint thinner like I did that other one. These here look pretty good. Well, like that. Like that, a good coat of paint on it. The bearing still works, so uh, that's awesome. I'm sort of saving the option of. I painted those both uh, hammered, a hammered gray color. I sort of kicked around the idea about painting them white. I actually pulled up an old video of that chair back there the last time I painted. Last time I painted it, I just, you know, it was uh, probably not that long after we bought it, and I just put a coat of paint on top of it just to try to stave off the rust for a while until I could get more time to do this. It was back before I was retired. Now that I'm retired, you know, a lot of these projects, I've got the time not only to work on them, but to spend some time working on them and making them like this one. There's a lot of work has gone into this already. It's going to be worth it. I'm very happy about it. And... Uh, I'm very grateful that I have the time to do a project like this and do it, do it right. That means a lot. So, let's see if this will hang here. I'll spray some of that rust coating stuff on it. Uh, and we'll... Uh, let that hang and dry while I work on the last one. Let me go to the...